As of late, one of the most frequent requests that I've had is to do a video about missiles in the missile meta. When it comes to missiles in Star Citizen, they are typically feast or famine, at least in the PU. They will either reliably hit their targets and be unable to be flared off, or they will be flying all over the place, circling their targets endlessly, and never actually making contact, regardless of whether your target is stationary or not. Since missile performance is completely at the mercy of the tick rate in the PU, I favor quantity over quality, meaning I want as many missiles as possible. So the only missiles worth using are EM missiles. So the missiles that I use in order of size are Task Force 1s, Dominator 2s, Thunderbolt 3s, and Raptor 4s. As stated earlier, if you're able to go a size lower and get more missiles on a rack, always do that because you want quantity over quality. And as you will see much later in this video, you can actually one-shot people with a Task Force 1 missile. Alright, so for this we're going to be in the Talon Strike. Talon Strike is probably my favorite missile boat in the game. Able to carry 24 size 3 missiles. Hmm, it's a lot of missiles. So we're going to show you how we use these things and give you some basic rundown on what I like to do and some of the finer nuance behind missile spam. So for this example, what you're going to notice with the Gladius is that when I get a firing solution and I lock on and fire, his shields are going to go down. This is because missiles ignore shielding and the splash damage hits components. A size 3 missile does a lot of damage, so when it connects, if it connects at just the right spot, you're pretty much guaranteed to knock something off the ship. So there you go. Now imagine that this is a PU scenario and you're PvPing in a group. Or if this guy is just messing with you. If you hit him once and those shields go down, he's probably going to leave you alone. Or if he wants to keep fighting you, you can just easily finish him off with another missile. Another great thing about missiles is that sometimes, if you strike at just the right angle, typically a top-down attack, you will outright kill almost any ship in a game. Check this out. Target destroyed. You may think that's a one-off, but I'm going to do it again. Pay attention to how I'm launching this missile, and I'm making sure that my racks, which are at the bottom of this ship, they're above him, so that when they come out of the tube, they're flying up and down into his ship. Target destroyed. And yes, this could be done in the PU. Observe as I kill a Vanguard Harbinger, one of the toughest ships in the game, with a single missile. Applying the same logic. I'm launching, so the missiles come up and go down. Check it out. Start dragging away from the group. Almost every time. Or how many times have you flown with somebody and they've run into you? Oh, I just one-shotted that Harbinger with a missile in PU. And here I am, one-shotting a Harbinger with a single size 1 Task Force missile. And a hurricane. We could even do it to an arrow. And finally, everybody's favorite light fighter, the Gladius. Another reason why we use EM is because we've got guys like this one who are trying to spool up their quantum and get away. Their EM spikes through the roof and it makes these missiles dang near unflareable. Check this out. So in conclusion, when you're using missiles, you want to always be using electromagnetic, that's EM. You want to have quantity over quality. If they are nose-on for you and they're attempting to 
close a distance and you're facing each other, aim up so the missile goes up, comes down, and potentially one-shots your opponent. People will complain about you using missiles, they'll call you a spammer, they'll call you a noob, they'll whine, they'll cry, they'll complain. Let them. You are not here to fight fair, you are here to win.